Hey guys, it's Woodsy here. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be the first video that I upload um, because I've been meaning to do it for a while and I kept putting it off. Um, so if you do know me, you may know me from Twitch. Um, I stream over at twitch.tv forward slash xwoodsy um, and I stream there every day of the week playing video games. Um, so yeah, feel free to check me out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but essentially this video um, I wanted to make because when I thought about becoming a streamer I tried to do some research on it what I could sort of expect and how I could expect my first 30 days and onwards to look um, And I couldn't really find any sort of relatable content The only vi two videos that I did find um, were both set up by BBC and one was done by BuzzFeed um, And the BBC it was an individual who wanted to become a partner within 30 days Which if you know anything about Twitch that's absolutely ridiculous to achieve that um, but the person got help from Yogscast in the video and he made it as a partner and congrats to him um, but I think for the average Joe such as myself and everybody else in this world um, that's completely unrealistic um, there are people that try for years to get to partner and just because they meet the requirements to be a partner they don't always get accepted so I felt it created a false expectation on what people can expect um, and as well with the BuzzFeed one um, the BuzzFeed reporter got help from Pokimane, she shouted out their channel, they started streaming at 3,000 followers before they barely started. Um, I've been doing this for three months now, I'm obviously still learning every day, uh, not necessarily anywhere near that good a streamer, perhaps, who knows. Um, but I'm at 400 followers now, around that, um, so I think I've got a pretty good idea of what to expect. I think for three months, 400 followers, pretty good, could be worse. Um, but. Essentially, this video is going to cover my first 30 days. Um, I do a rundown of the analytics. I don't make it too boring and show some clips, so it should be fun. But yeah, um, if you guys like this, let me know and maybe I'll do some more stuff like this. So the main goal of our first 30 days on Twitch is to make it as an affiliate. As you can see from the snapshot on the screen, uh, there are four requirements that you need to reach affiliate. They are to reach 50 followers, stream for 8 hours, stream on 7 different days and have an average of 3 viewers. From the screen, you can see that we're currently at 58 followers, so we've reached that benchmark. We've streamed for well over eight hours, as we've been streaming every single day. Um, this, is, this screenshot was taken on the, our sixth day, so once we went live the next day, we would make affiliate. And then an average of three viewers, we managed 7.6. So the way I sort of set about my first 30 days was I told as many of my friends as possible, all the ones that I know that are slightly interested in gaming, sort of have similar interests to me and play Fortnite, because that would be the main game that I was streaming throughout the week. Uh, I told them about it, got them to hang out in the chat, um, get, keep it animated, so therefore if anyone was scrolling through or coming, coming by the stream, they'd see that the chat was busy and it wasn't just quiet. Uh, this enabled me to attract quite a few people, and it ended up in us being able to keep some, and even getting them to follow the account, which obviously helped me make the path to affiliate. I think this was really important because if they'd come in and the chat was, was dead, it was going to be just sort of me talking to myself, maybe, or not even talking, um, as that's that's a real problem with new streamers. I think it's always important to keep as animated as possible and try and make sure there's no still silence so that obviously people find a place where they can interact with you. And therefore, for me, this was going to be our main approach for the Twitch channel um, to help it grow, was to just sort of try and get as many people interacting as possible, uh, create a, sort of an emotional connection with them, sort of as friends across the internet, they could come and hang out, watch me play. Um, I'd get to know more about them, and this sort of gave them a reason to come back, um, as well as enjoying the laughs and the jokes that we had in stream. And I think that's what's important, finding what you want to do with your Twitch channel, whether you want to put out good gameplay, or whether you want to create a positive community where people can just come and have fun. So this is the snapshot of week two. Um, and as you can see, we reached affiliate ship by this lovely affiliate tab that we have on the screenshot in front of you. Now, with this affiliate tab, we are able to give emotes and sub badges to our subscribers. So the people who want to subscribe to us, whether that's with Twitch Prime or with their own money. Um, so for this, I went and got an artist to do my Twitch, Twitch uh, sub badges and Twitch emotes uh, for me, as I'm not very skilled in art. I actually got a U in that. So yeah, I stayed well away from that side of things. Um, but this was really cool, it allows our viewers to interact with us much better in chat. So I have two emotes uh, that I use mainly, one's a facepalm and one's pog. Um, if you're familiar with Twitch, you'll be familiar with the pog emote as such. Um, it's used to celebrate anything positive that happens. Um, the facepalm emote applies to my style of gameplay where I do stupid things and people laugh at me. 
so that's where we sort of got that inspiration from and it's funny to when funny things happen and people just spam the face palms in chat telling me how stupid i am but yeah it's great we have a laugh so that was the main focus of week two um we kept on trying to trying to grow the channel uh we had about 100 followers up up, up at this point and as you can see from the revenue tab we'd even start earning our money um we were up to 31 dollars for this However, with Twitch, you don't actually receive any payouts until you get up to and earn your first $100. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, you won't be paid on any subs or bits that are donated to you until you reach that $100 threshold. So for week three, um, we sort of had enough data from our previous streams to sort of try and work out what our peak days were and what our peak times were. So as you can see from the snapshot in front of you, we sort of worked out that sort of 540 Six six o'clock. That was five o'clock in the UK. Um, as I'm an EU streamer, um, that sort of is my peak hours as such. Um, so I always try to focus my best content for there, and always make sure I'm live at those times at all costs, um, as that's when most of my viewers are in, sort of back from work, in from school, uh, that sort of thing. So I think this is an important thing to keep an eye on uh, throughout the streams. Uh, so you can make sure that you're keeping a consistent audience and maybe change your schedule. Uh, this is more important for people who don't have as much time as possible to stream. At the moment, I've been doing this pretty much every day, averaging 10 hours of stream. Um, so I've got a lot. I've got a lot of data to work with here. Um, but from that, it was the channel sort of hit 130 followers at the end of our third week. Um, and at the beginning, I was like, okay, I'm not really going to put this out on Twitter. I've been a bit nervous about showing my social media. Um, that I'm going for this Twitch side of things um, but a freak event sort of occurred and as it's sort of a polar peak event that was going on during um, the Fortnite season I put a clip out on Twitter of something funny that happened where the event caused me to fall to my death for some unknown reason um, and from this I actually got quite a lot of views a few link clicks as well um, when I went into the analytics you could see that I had three link clicks on this and one of them had actually turned out to be an old gaming buddy of mine um, who then sort of got the rest of our old buddies involved and they're big Twitch fans um, and since then um, they've been active in the stream every single day um, always they're always supporting me even gifting subs and donating bits at different times so these are people that I wouldn't have come across again and rekindled that friendship if I hadn't put this tweet out sort of thing so although I didn't necessarily attract new people um, although I, there was a few new people from the tweet but from this it sort of enabled me to rekindle that friendship and then go from there to have them support the channel and support what I'm doing which is is great um, I think this is the best way to sort of build the community forward now and um, that's 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 essentially what this whole this whole twitch journey is so that brings us to the end of our first 30 days on twitch uh, we amassed a total of 179 followers I know the screen says 187 but these were follows that they, they followed and unfollowed um, the big number that you may want to see is the revenue. Um, I wouldn't say focusing on the revenue from your first 30 days on Twitch is a great way to go about it. And maybe you might not want to focus on it too much. Um, but yeah, so over the first 30 days, we amassed $47. Uh, like I said, until we earn 100, we won't be able to access this. Um, but that's just a guide for the first 30 days. Um, so from my first 30 days, you can see our average viewers dipped a little bit. And this shows that it's important to keep your keep engaging in other communities, keep hosting other communities, um, and just making sure you're putting yourself out there on Twitch. Um, but I will state, never ever promote yourself on another streamer's Twitch channel. That is probably one of the worst things you can do. Um, as well, I, one thing I haven't really touched on in this video was the follows for follows or lurk for lurks. I got a lot of requests of these when I was just starting out in my first few weeks, and yeah, it sounds great, but I don't think it's healthy for the long term of your Twitch channel, um, especially if you go, if you end up going for things like partner and you have a huge lurking community, you see people getting declined partnerships all the time just because people just lurk all the time, and and it's it's just, it's just not a healthy community and the way you, the way Twitch wants their partners to act. Um, so that's that's something on there. Um, the best th advice I can give is to share the love um, on Twitch, host other streamers around your level. Don't go hosting hundred view streamers; they won't notice you, especially if you're pulling in like five, six viewers, something like that. If you host people, maybe even just a little bit above, maybe, maybe I'm a little high every so often. Um, and just make sure you engage in their communities, come back to the streams when they're not streaming, and just naturally people will be interested in you and who you are, and they'll want to check out your Twitch stream. Um, again, never, even when hosting, never never plug your own Twitch unless the streamer gives the AOK -okay for it. Um, so yeah, I use Social Blade in this clip as well, um, because I think Social Blade is also a very useful tool to set up for your Twitch channel to monitor it. 
it sort of paints out very clearly what the best way for your channel to monitor your channel is. Um, so you can see the effects that certain hosts have and how, and how they benefit you. But yeah, essentially the hosting should be used to create a relationship and not as a tool to get partner quick or get affiliate quick for that reason. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video of my first 30 days on Twitch. I hope some of the information in there was useful and perhaps provided with some of the information you were looking for on what it's like as the first 30 days as a streamer on Twitch. Um, if I can, I want to leave you with five key points real quick. I'm going to touch on them in the video, so I'm not going to talk about them too much. No follow, follow, no alert for alert. Stay away from that. Use social media. It's a good tool. Put posts out there. Let them know you're there. Third one I'm going to say is tell your friends early on that you're streaming, get them involved in chat. Remember to host people around your level and make sure you engage in their community. Just hang around for like 10-15 minutes, it'll be fun. But anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for the video. If this has helped you in any way, please let me know because that'd be really cool. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to know if it, if it helped anyone. Um, if not, no worries, I'll still be here. Um, if you did enjoy the video and you like some of the, you know, personality here, uh, I've got one. Uh, feel free to follow me on twitch.tv forward slash xwoodsy. I'm streaming every day from 3 p.m., 2 p.m. if you're in the UK. Uh, I'm an hour ahead here. Um, or 9 a.m. Eastern if you are across the pond. All right. I'll see you guys soon.